What's up, everybody? So I had a question recently to uh, look into further what hops do go together well and what hops don't go together well. So I made a quick little list uh, of some things off the top of my head for some for some, some old brews I had made and um, some things to watch out for, a couple that do work, a couple that don't work. Um, it's, it's a tough question because it really comes down to your, your recipe and uh, that can be very variable. Um, and of course, this is, a, this is a small list because there's, you know, over a hundred different uh, hop varieties. So how, how can I do a whole list on that? So we'll kind of go high level, give you kind of a starting point, and hopeful, hopefully this is helpful for your homebrew. So uh, the start, kind of watch the families. So you have the citrusy and the earthy and the floral type um, families. So try to stay kind of within them and then watch how much you, you, you combine them. Uh, the reason being, in the, in the bad section, um, noble hops uh, will be washed out by citrusy type hops. Um, so it's a waste of your time and money to buy the noble hops for that reason, and it, it's just gonna get washed out. So that's something that I would avoid. It's not necessarily a bad combination, it won't be, taste bad, it just it'll just wash out and you won't really taste them. Um, but uh, here is a, a bad combination though, is your, um, Dark crystal malts uh, with the, the American sea hops, the, aka the uh, the strong strong ones, so that the higher alpha acid ones, uh, those those do not mix well together at all. Um, they it there's probably more science to it that I'm going to get down to, but it's it's kind of how that that works there. Um, kind of stay within the the style guidelines is what is a good way to look at it. So like obviously you know more noble hops or more for your um, uh, lockers type families and stuff and um for certain stouts you, you you wouldn't add you know amarillo or something like that uh then it comes down to just flavor um preferences so like uh in my research for this i was like well what is a bad combination because i i haven't really made a real bad combination one before in my opinion um i've had some bad ones before off the shelf um but sometimes people don't like, you know, Amarillo and Simcoe or something like that together. So that's a, that comes down to a preference. Um, so before you brew something like that, I would suggest to find a few um, beers in that in that realm that have those combinations and see if you like it. Um, maybe it needs to be more on the dry hop side than, than the uh, the aroma side or the, or the bitter inside. So but here's some good ones. So anything in the C family can kind of works together. Um, obviously, you don't go overbearing and make sure it's balanced and everything like that. But most of the C family, so with the C family would include uh, Cascade, Citrus, um, uh, Citra, or yeah, Citra, and, and, and the list goes on, uh, Columbus. But um, anything in the C family usually does play well together. Uh, another good combination would be a Columbus and Simcoe dry hop. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use both of those on the bittering side um, and only sparingly in the, in the flavor and aroma side, but on the dry hop side, you kind of go crazy with those ones. Um, uh, citra, citra and mosaic actually goes well together. Um, I looked back at a recipe I did about three years ago, and those two happen to go together pretty well. Um, and then the citra and Nelson uh, is also another good one that I had heard from a, a friend as well. Um, there's a couple things for you to get started on there. Um, I'd love to go deeper into this. So send me some suggestions or recipes that uh, you have in mind or ones that you want to see if they would go well together. So again, this is more of a high level one and wanted to see um, if I can kind of help out with getting started of what's a good combination of hops, what's a bad one. And uh, I'd, I'd love to do another video of this kind of course. Um, and to close on this, I would say definitely watch what malts you put with this. Uh, that, um, that will play, play the biggest part as well. But thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing and looking forward to some more videos soon. Thanks. Cheers.